Good morning. What is today? Tuesday morning and getting ready to get the day underway. I want to start this off with sharing with you guys that yesterday, or by sharing with you guys, that yesterday I was around 244.4 pounds and today I'm like 243. Tell me that fasting don't be working. Man, I've lost a lot of weight. I can't even believe I'm down to the low 240s right now. And my diet is shit. Literally, yesterday I got home, had about three something, and I ate, I punished Oreo double stuffed cookies, M&M, peanut butter M&Ms, not the peanut M&Ms, peanut butter M&Ms, an entire Hershey bar, an ice cream sandwich, and I ate dinner, which was taco soup. And I'm still losing a pound a day. It's pretty crazy to think that I can eat whatever the hell I want, so long as I'm staying under my you know calorie limit and man that fasting is definitely helping uh but anyways i know a lot of people are gonna say joe your diet is shit it is but it's working for me i'm losing weight still doing my workout still running did both of those things again this morning as i do almost every single day barely missing a day i want to start this video off with some shout outs i want to shout out mark matt and dave the first three people to become members of Joe Does Stuff, they joined the channel. There's different membership levels, so shout out to Matt, Mark, and Dave. Hey, thank you guys so much for the support. And also to Jesus, who, who was the only person so far who's purchased the new Joe Does Stuff merch, the stickers. These ones might look a lot more glossy than the ones I was showing you yesterday. I got some really high quality sticker paper and uh, I was able to create some really good stickers. The ones that I showed you guys before were on like paper, sticker paper. These are clear, transparent, like plastic decal paper. These are going in the envelope today, in the mail today. Jesus, these stickers are on the way to you. All I need is a stamp. Got my ink pen. Yeah, man. So shout out to those four fine folks right there. And hey, please join or cop some stickers. There's going to be more stickers available by the end of the week. I'm getting people talking about uh, all sorts of stuff in relation to those stickers. So we'll have more stuff upcoming. All right, folks, today's going to be a super, super duper califragilistic expialidocious type of busy day. Yeah, it is. Uh, ain't going to be no sunshine. It's going to be wind drizzle. It's already windy as shit. It's like a fucking hurricane out there. Wind drizzle and we gonna be getting up into some gutter action today and moving some mountains of dirt out on the landscape job. We're going back to landscape today, but not before we go out to the flip, which is all the way across the planet, pick up a couple of ladders, hit the storage unit, pick up what we're gonna need for the day, and then get out to the landscape job. We'll be out there all day. I wanna move that dirt. I wanna bust up some flower beds that we gotta clear out. I want to get these gutters squared away. We were supposed to be out there yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Not going to be able to be out there tomorrow because tomorrow we got something else we got to do. We got an, another adventure taking place tomorrow. Wait for that. So we got to try to get as much done today as we possibly can. And to be honest, hey, we got to make some money. Now on the flower bed clear out and the moving the dirt job, that's one job by itself. I quoted that job at $1,000. It's going to be quite a bit of work, uh, back-breaking work at that. But I think that Damon and I can bust that thing out in a day, maybe two at the very most. The gutters, they don't have a price on them just yet, but allegedly the downspouts are clogged. We're gonna have to take the downspouts down. We're gonna have to clear those downspouts out. They're all around the house. I'm gonna, I haven't quoted that job just yet. That's gonna be anywhere between three to $500, probably gonna be about a $400 job right there. So we'll get those squared away. There's also a piece of fascia board behind the gutters that is rotted the fuck out, could greatly benefit from uh, being replaced and you know, probably could also greatly benefit from some drip edge being up there. But at the very least, getting that piece of fascia board replaced, that would entail taking the gutter off uh, to do that. If we get froggy enough and we do that, of course the price of tea in China, it goes up just a little bit. Uh, with this month in landscape, considering the fact that we just purchased a $4,900 fucking zero turn yesterday, and Damon may have gotten the other one fixed, hey, we got to make some money. 
it might be time to pick up another client with landscape uh, and really try to go all out this season. Uh, you know, everything happens for a reason. We got these two mowers. Think about how quickly Damon and I could be cutting on two zero turns. Uh, three acre properties are better. So I'm saying a lot, but let's go do a lot. We got a lot to do today, so let's get this day underway and I'll share more with you guys as things progress. Good morning to you. Happy Tuesday. Today, gonna be a hell of a lot better than yesterday was. I can feel it in the air. Boy, look at this storage unit. This joint is kinda, kinda packed. All right, got what we need for right this second here. I think we got everything that we need. Shit that we need. We got to run out to the flip. We got to grab a couple of ladders from out there. Go check on things. Looking in the junkyard of a truck. And I think I forgot my phone at the house. Fuck. All right. So anyways. I'm going to try to hunt down my phone and then head over to the flip. See how things are looking over there. See how many realtor cards are left in the house. That's usually a... Uh, Thing that they do they they like to leave their cards in the house so maybe we'll see some or maybe we won't but couldn't even tell you what time it is right this second all right quarter to nine quarter to nine won't get out the landscape till 11 o'clock Every bit of 11. But no big deal. We'll make today positive. So long as my phone didn't fly off the back of the truck somewhere. That would suck. All right. Let's see what the next, see what the next adventure brings. Hey, look. There's the police right there in front of the, in front of the house. Down the street. That's the house where we had met the dude who told us 30 bucks an hour. <laughs> I wonder if they're looking for him. In the police truck. All right, over at the flip, obviously. I'm gonna grab a couple things. Grab a couple things, check on everything in here, make sure everything's copacetic. To tell you, I think somebody took a shit in here. Like the toilet paper came up missing. Come on, man. Who the hell leaving they scrunchies up in here? Any cards? No cards. Floor's a little dirty. Need the lights on. Everything's locked up. Looking good. Looking good. How's that spot look? Our repair looking like a perfect fix. Yeah, buddy. Boy, look at that perfect repair. That joint, that joint nice. Okay. All right. There's that. Hold on. Did I just hear a smoke detector? I damn sure did. Somebody done left the light on in my bathroom. Yeah, don't worry about my power bill. Don't worry about my power bill at all. Okay. Could have swore I just heard a smoke detector. Just checking on everything, making sure everything's good. What am I? How a brand new smoke detector hmm. beeping. Oh wow, both the bathrooms look exactly the same. That's that's nice. You got a smoke detector beeping. That's what I just said. That's crazy. Well, remember when we first came in here, one was chirping too. So I'm wondering. But these are big yeah. hardwired, right? Yeah, they are. Hey, uh, grab that scrunchie. Somebody left. Which one is it? Oh well. Alright. Get loaded up and get the heck up out of here. Alright, 10.01 in the morning and probably got about 7 minutes to the landscape job. So we made 
excellent time. Excellent time. We were only going about 90 the whole way, but we made it. Didn't hit any traffic and good deal. So get out here a little earlier, uh, as early as we can get out here, and we're immediately gonna get on gutters. So the gutters are raining down. Uh, they're, not, they're not guttering correctly, basically. So it's either a clogged down spout or the water's getting behind the gutters. What we got going on over here? Okay, that's not gonna affect us. They got some work going on. Um, but probably potentially clogged gutter. So if that's the case, we're gonna take the downspouts off. We're gonna clear them and that should resolve the issue. Now again, there's a piece of fascia that could get replaced. We'll look into that uh, while out here and hopefully get to moving the dirt. Now I was gonna have my dad come out here and help us with that, but the dirt got delivered yesterday while we were there and where the dirt has to go really isn't too far and it's really not all that much dirt. I mean, well, it is a lot of dirt, but it's pointless for my father to come out here and, you know, it's over two hours for him to get here to bring his tractor where he would be helping us for about 20 minutes. So we're gonna put our backs into it. I'm actually looking forward to it. It's gonna be a little bit of a workout and get that dirt moved. Yeah, we are. We're gonna get that dirt moved. We're gonna get them gutters fixed. We're gonna make a good day of it out here today. And we're gonna get some good news today. Maybe we will. So, let's go try to make some money today. Considering we are about $5,000 in the hole right this second. All right, leaving from the landscape after being there for about 10 minutes. It's 1037 right now. We need to go grab my 32 foot ladder. Didn't realize and didn't even think about how tall this house really is. Uh, we got, what's your ladder? 24? 20, I think. So we got Damon's ladder, which is about a 20 foot ladder, 20 something feet. And then mine's a 32. With his ladder, we were able to at least get up to the gutters on the garage and get inspection on what's going on with that. We took the downspout down, the downspout was fine. There was a little bit of debris in the gutters. However, that's not what the issue is. The issue is the gutters are wavy. The gutters have some major waves to them. I guess I'm gonna go try to see if they got this stump grinder first. Figure that out. Yeah, the gutters are wavy. Yeah, we'll probably get the stump grinder and then we'll figure out the gutters. Um, so we need to either take the gutters completely down and straighten them out because they, and when I say wavy, they're not like super wavy, but they're wavy enough to where water is ponding up in certain areas at the ass end of the gutter, farthest away from the downspout, in the middle of the gutter, and then also getting close to the downspout. So. Even with that, if the gutters were completely filled up, that shouldn't matter at all. That really shouldn't matter at all. So it could be a mixture, a combination of the debris that was in the gutters. I'm thinking about adding a little bit more slope to the gutters, just a little bit. You don't want a whole hell of a lot of slope on your gutters and make it look like, you know, your gutters are sitting up there at an angle, but it is slope that makes those gutters work correctly. You got to have down slope to the downspout. But we've only been able to get a visual on one section of the gutters. There's a lot of the gutters that are fucking up. So it could be that they're clogged up. But regardless, this job is, well, it's getting a little more expensive if we have to take the gutters completely off to do the repairs, to try to fix them. Oh my Lord, what a great spot for you there. out of my way but anyways moving on uh, other shit that we're working on so the flower bed cleanup well there's one flower bed that we got to clear out that's got a lot of shit in it and some of these flower beds even have stumps left over from us doing the tree removal work that we did a couple of months ago so I'm going to this Home Depot that's right down the street to see if they've got a stump grinder that we can get and we will literally just grind the shit out of everything that's in them flower beds uh, use that stump grinder like a big ass tiller basically 
and that'll make light work of clearing out those beds for sure uh, so hopefully they do have one we'll get the stump grinder first we'll get with that and then we'll figure out getting my ladder because these are on two opposite ends of the world so that's what we're doing fun times fun times all right leaving from home depot and uh boy a dude that we just rented this piece of equipment from he was tough tough he was i said hey uh we get a discount if we bring it back early no i said well i you know I've, I've had that happen before he was like four hours is four hours and four hours by the way is 260 dollars uh so anyways very tough guy he said they're not supposed to do that where'd they do that at i said well i'm not gonna tell you but anyways um <laughs> I'm not even trying to make fun of dude or nothing like that. He was about his business. He's about that tool rental life. And let me tell you something. You kind of got to like that. He wants the shit maintained because most of the time it's not maintained. So even though this thing is two 15 plus a little 30 or $40 protection plan on the damn thing for four hours. Trust me when I tell you, man, these four hours, boy, hey, this shit about to save our lives in terms of the work that we got to do with these flower beds. We're going up and beyond. And guess what? That could be a little bit of extra charge right there. Well, you know, we did grind up some stumps as well, which we will. But just this one flower bed, man, it's got so many bushes and shit in it. I'm not getting in there and fighting that shit. I don't feel like it. This is gonna, this is gonna help us tremendously. What do you think, Damon? Yeah, it is filled up, right? Filled up to the brim. Don't you jump out while I got a trailer on the back of the truck. Please, don't make, anyways, I'm just playing. I'm just joshing around. So we'll get back and we'll go grind up some stumps. We gotta work on, or we'll go grind up some flower beds. We gotta work on that first and foremost. That's paramount considering the fact that we've only got four hours with this piece of equipment. So we'll bust that out and we'll get some footage. We'll get some footage grinding some shit up. Yeah, we will. All right. Let's go make it happen. Oh shit, I probably ought to go slow before I tip this bitch right off the trailer. Dude be mad as hell about that. Uh, hey, <laughs> and he said this thing is brand new. Hey, you remember that stump grinder we rented? Uh, yeah, we we tipped it over. It's, it's totaled. But I've got the protection plan. I don't think that that saves you though. I don't think that really saves you. All right, let's go grind some shit up. You ever used a 
stump grinder to till. <laughs> Boy, that joint work. Superb. Yeah, dude, look at that. That bed, done. That bed over there, done. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all cleaned up. That's not a stump, is it? Is that a stump? No, that's just a little log. So this is what it looks like all cleaned up. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And then I'll show you this big bed right here that we just, this was the bed that we started in. There was so much stuff in this bed. Not no more though. Not no more. Got that done. Got the gutter off. Ain't, 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 ain't messing with gutters right now though. Came over here. She wanted to put a little flower bed over here. Man, we dug the shit out of this with the with the stump grinder. Heck yeah. Work smarter, not harder. All right, 159 in the afternoon. Gotta have this uh, stump grinder back by 255. I gotta go put gas in it. We cleaned it off. It definitely helped us. Used that thing like it was a, a tiller. Used it like it was a damn tiller. And it damn sure did the job. Definitely made easy work of what we had. And if we would have tried to do it any other way, whoo boy, that shit would have been, it would have been tough. I was in there trying to put the shovel to the dirt, trying to dig up them plants that she wanted to get rid of. Gosh, I'm mighty thing is, what the heck is going on with it? interesting ride that's for damn sure uh, gonna have to take it easy that's what I'm, oh my god but yeah I was in there trying to use the shovel at first and that weren't working so we got this thing this was 260 bucks for four hours and it made uh, made good work of what we were doing so we went up and beyond on this job charged a thousand dollars to spread dirt which we haven't even done yet and to clear the flower beds really it's all about the flower beds the dirt is going to be it's going to be work but it ain't going to be nowhere near what those flower beds could have been so out of a thousand dollars um a uh, you know a quarter of it's gone already just a little bit more than a quarter of it's gone already and it's going to be two days of labor so still going to do okay off of Still gonna do okay off that job. I make what will I make? I'll make a little bit less. I'll probably make about 400 bucks off of that job. All right, 228 in the afternoon, and just returned the stump grinder. No issues there. Different guy, he was super nice. Filled it up, 10 bucks to fill it up. That thing had a hell of a gas tank on it. Uh, we probably used three quarters of the tank and we did quite a bit with that machine so that was definitely exactly what the doctor ordered to be able to get us uh, as far along in this project as we are so that's awesome i know this is about to sound crazy jump out there i know this is about to sound crazy but um I'm not used to things going smoothly. Uh, I, I really, I'm not used to things going smoothly. God, I should have went. Why didn't I go, Joe? You idiot. You idiot. Oh, I should have jumped out there. Damn it, I should have jumped out there. Yeah, I'm not, th I'm not used to things going smoothly uh, on anything. So for this to be going relatively smoothly, this is all right. I still got to talk with the homeowner about the gutters and say, uh, well, I already have began to talk with the homeowner about the, you know, what the gutters are going to cost. They're going to cost four to 500 bucks for the gutter work, but that's all right right there. I'm sure they'll be okay with that. And 
Everybody's going camping, man. It must be nice. I wish I could go camping. So we do the flower beds and the soil work. We'll do the gutters and we'll do our scheduled cutting. So it'll be a fairly decent month to at least put a dent in in that mower that's for sure put a dent in the price of that mower what we had to spend on that mower yeah and maybe we'll get some other work too so gotta gotta be optimistic gotta be optimistic gotta be positive all right let's get back in finish out the day all right four o'clock and we're wrapping it up for the day we did a fair amount of shit over there today we got those flower beds cleared out that worked out really well with the stump grinder. Um, we left the trailer over there. We got some debris on the trailer. We got one gutter down. There's a fascia board that's pretty deteriorated and rotted. So we're gonna definitely be replacing that and probably adding a little slope to a couple of the gutters that really are having a tough time draining. So that'll be in the next uh, couple of days. We got rain coming in as a matter of fact. So that's kind of crazy and yeah we still got a bunch of dirt to move so ass busting day today but it was a good day we got a lot of shit done got a fair amount of that work done so moving the dirt that's going to be a adventure in itself and doing those gutter repairs is going to be another adventure in itself and well hopefully we're going to be able to do it so that's all I got. Tomorrow's gonna be a totally different adventure. Wait till you see what we got in store tomorrow. And I'm gonna wrap it up for the day. Thanks for taking the time to rock with us on this. And I look forward to sharing more with you guys tomorrow.